All right, guys. So today we're talking about Tails operating system and USB persistence. I'm going to show you guys what to do when you first flash the Tails image to your USB. And what you'll do at that point is you'll place it into your USB drive on your computer. You'll go into your BIOS settings. Check what F key it is for your model. For Lenovo, I know it's F1, F2, or F. 11 in some cases at boot and at that point you're going to change the boot pers the actual priority list and you're going to move your USB to the top what we're doing today is we're looking at tails operating system and I'm going to show you how to install persistence first thing you're going to do when you start up tails once you insert that USB is you're going to go down to system tools then you're going to go to your settings then what you're going to want to do is connect yourself to the internet. And in this case, I'm not actually going to click on it, but you could click on Wi-Fi to connect to your local Wi-Fi network. We're going to need this before we can connect to Tor. So at that point, you've connected to the internet, you close out, and what you'll do next is you'll go down to Applications, and then you're going to go to Internet, you're going to go down to Tor Connection, and at this point you're going to connect to the Tor network it's going to give you I'm already connected but I'm going to tell you how to do it you're going to get options to set up a bridge which is easy to do if you want to connect to a bridge before you connect to Tor if you're if Tor is censored in certain areas or you want to hide Tor usage from the ISP that is a recommendation for that but try to save bridges for the people who actually need them Next, what we'll do is we'll hit connect to tour, and then you'll be greeted with this screen. And at that point, it will tell you you're connected to tour successfully. You can hit start tour browser, or you can view your onion circuits. What's your onion circuits? That's basically the different connection links that tour has built for you that you can connect to. So when I go to view tour circuits, I'll be able to see all the different tour nodes that are built already. So we see this one here, this set here of circuits, and this is basically something for your own reference. It has the bandwidth as well on each one. Not very important to know right now. Next, since we've started up tour browser, where you'll get tails is tails.boum.org then you'll simply go to get tails and from there you can download it to the USB I do suggest checking the integrity and I will be doing an integrity checking video in the future here for USB sticks you just click for USB sticks then you go to download and you'll flash it to your USB disk so the before we can even set up the persistence what we're gonna need to do is actually go to the tails installer and how we're gonna do that is we're gonna go down here and we can see tails installer we'll open this up and what it'll do is it'll allow us to clone the current tails from the USB and then we could select a USB right here and we can even clone it onto the same USB or we can use another USB drive and another USB disk so you might want to have one tails on a USB that completely erases all and you may for example want to have a more personalized tails persistence USB that you can take to uh, share some of that with your future boots and save a lot of the programs and settings that you might want to save all depends on your needs. Once you do that, you'll hit the install and it'll finish that install process for you. There's really nothing more to it. Let's now talk about persistence. At this point, what we're going to do is we're going to set up persistence. We're going to talk about it. I've already done so, but I want to go through the process for you because there are some pitfalls and things that you need to know about when you're setting up persistence for tails. A lot of people may benefit from not setting up persistence. For example, I always give the example of a journalist in an area where they aren't very safe. Well, setting up Tails Persistence, it does set up an encrypted volume where every change you make, you can add to 
the future boots every time you insert that. So it'll make permanent changes to your USB drive. It will add an encrypted storage where if you install new applications like I have, I installed KDN Live so I can make this video and Simple Screen Recorder so I can make this video. And if you go into create and configure a persistent volume, at this point it'll ask you for a password that you would like and you'll enter that password and it'll create the volume for you and then it's going to bring you to this screen and at this screen you're going to decide what you want tails to remember on your persistence USB and for me I like to remember a lot of different things but as I mentioned the pitfall there is if you are somebody who has to worry about their safety you want to make sure you have first a very strong password and second you may want to make considerations on what you want saved to it just in case your password is not as strong as you think so personally I don't have anything to hide or worry about so I just allowed it to save everything and a big reason is is because I want to use this to make future videos I want to make this convenient but another thing you'll want to have is to save your basically your network settings and everything so that way when it does start it's going to be able to install those applications for you on boot set it up however you like you may like the settings I have saved depends what you use you may not need to know that then you'll hit save and at that point you can restart now and what it'll do is apply all of that for your next boot and at that next boot you may decide you want to install applications then you'll just go over to the synaptic package manager or you can use the command line and you can then add the different things you want to add say KDN live for example and once you open the synaptic package manager you're going to be greeted with a screen that has categorization and has a search box where you can search for categories or you can search for program names that you might be interested in to see what tails offers you let's take a look at video edit and just see what comes up there's also of course possibly more security and pen testing tools if that's something that interests you uh, but keep in mind tails operating system was not designed for the average person's daily driver it's not something that's going to be as convenient as say a Linux Mint uh, Parrot operating system or another Linux operating system but it is lightweight and that's something that you have as a major benefit so if you're using an older system tails might be a great way you can work on the go and even borrow other people's computer systems and not have to worry so much so let's just check out the RAM for the moment so as you can see it's only using small amount of RAM and um, I of course I have this 16 gigabytes now but it's very lightweight so that's another great benefit and if you set up a USB persistent drive um, you'll have every application that you install when you reboot and you log in and you unlock it basically you'll get a screen that when you first boot up after you've saved that persistent setup you're gonna get a password prompt to unlock that tails persistent volume and at that point what you're gonna do is it's gonna actually load all your saved settings in including the packages you might have installed already so you won't have to worry about setting up the persistence anymore but you will be able to change everything at any point back in the setup where you go to the system tools and configure persistent volume so you have that as an option and if you notice any problems you can use this whisper back error reporting system that's gonna allow you to privately give bug descriptions try to make them reproducible in order to help the developers better identify those bugs and to fix them that's an option for you here so tails as I talked about it connects everything through the Tor network and through the Tor network connecting everything 
it will help prevent leaks of your IP address. Because everything is already routed through Tor, if you were to use, say, a software solution, in some cases, your real IP, if that software were to fail in another case, may leak your real IP by making direct connections. And that's another benefit of Tails operating system to prevent those kinds of things from happening when software fails because you have that complete routing through the Tor network. I do suggest using a password manager if you use it and of course you can save all of that in your persistence volume. But if you are in a person in a really bad situation where you have to worry about your safety you might not even want to use persistence. You might want to use say a separate encrypted SD card or something else that you don't have to combine with your Tails boot in every case. You might sometimes want to use a fresh start and as shown in the last video when you pull the USB out it wipes all of the memory. So that is another thing because it runs right off the memory because of that and you don't have to worry about your hard drive and it's basically an anti-forensic operating system. So there's a lot of great benefits to Tails. Tails is an excellent operating system, especially for journalists, especially for human rights activists, especially for people who have to worry about their safety or are doing investigations where they may not want that kind of work uncovered in the process, possibly dealing with whistleblowers or possibly even being a whistleblower. So there's documentation here you can check out. You can even set up your own Bitcoin wallet here with Electrum Bitcoin wallet and you can have that saved in your persistent settings as well. So do remember that when you set up an Electrum volume wallet, what you're going to want to do is configure your persistence volume and you're going to want to save those Electrum sa settings and this goes with anything else make sure that you have this moved over otherwise you're gonna lose your wallet on the reboot so there's a lot of things to remember here but it's really meant for your safety the reason things aren't as straightforward as say Linux Mint or Debian or Ubuntu Ubuntu is because of the fact that it is looking out for your safety because of the fact that it has taken all these extra measures to keep your information private, to be an anti-forensic system that is basically invisible to the hard drive and is not going to write to that hard drive at all. Another option here is OnionShare, which is a way you can anonymously create new Onion hidden services on the Tor network very easily, and you can have temporary websites. You can create share receive files and it's very easy to do you just drag and drop the files in the folders this is what tails is all about that's how you set up a persistence volumes on tails and if you have any questions please do leave a comment i always appreciate reading comments and like this video and if you want to support work like this you go to buymecoffee.com slash politictech you can also read my public blog post there if you have a question on any of this or if you're running into problems setting up tails yourself just leave a comment and I'll be happy to try to help that's what I have today guys I'll be back later with more on how to protect your privacy